Jitpa Compose is the modern toolkit designed to simplify UI development. It is fully declarative, meaning you describe your UI by calling a series of functions that is transformed into UI hierarchy. Now we're going to create here a new project and we're going to select this empty compose activity. So make sure you are using Android Studio Bumblebee or Arctic Force. And then let's click next here and we're going to call this Jetpack Compose activity. And let's, you have to select here the API 21 and let's click here finish and create our project. Android Studio has generated us some code here. As you can see, there are composable functions which are generated by Android Studio, which can be a little bit confusing. So we are going to write this step by step in order to understand them very well. So we are going to delete all of this one here and we are going to delete everything inside here. So now, as you can see, we are having here a set content and this is the Lambda function, which is different from what we used before, which is the set content view, which accepted the layout.xml file. So now we are going to use this set content. If you hover around here or press control Q, and then it's going to bring out the documentation and this composes the given composables into the given activity. So we can call here composable functions and this one is going to render it into a UI hierarchy. So now we have to declare our first composable composable function and we are going to call this let's use the composable annotation and let's write here now let's import this one and then we are going to call this a hello So this is just a similar to composable function, similar to the normal Kotlin function. However, we are using here the capital Lester first, and this is the naming convection of composable functions. Now we can try here to call a text and we are going to use the text. This one is similar to the text view, which you used in, in, in the view group system. So we can provide here, for example, hello composable. Now, as you can see here, we are providing hello composable. Now we can call this composable function inside this set content content function, and we can call here hello, hello composable. And right now we have to execute this inside the, the emulator or in our phone. However, we can try to write here a preview function. If you hover around here, we can see that we are, there is no preview found and we have to annotate this composable with that preview. So let's jump in here and create a preview function. So we are going to use at preview and we have to annotate it also with at composable because this is going to call composable functions and anything calling composable function must have a composable annotation. So we are going to call this And then we can call here hello composable and right now it's going to display here. So you can customize here to show background and you can set this equals to true. And also we can provide a custom name which we, we wish we can call this. Because you can have different uh, different views which you can use to preview your functions. So right now, if we go here and try to preview our functions, it's going to roll out. Now, as you can see here, the preview has given us and the, it has given us the default view and hello composable, which we have provided here in the text. Now, let's add a theme in our app and it's simple just calling a function and all done navigate to the ui.theme and open up theme.kt so we are going to navigate to this folder here and we are going to open up theme.kt so i'm going to show you here now if you navigate here to this jetpack compose project theme as you can see there are different things which have been declared here we have dark color palette and we have the light color palettes which have been defined in this color.kt uh, folder now if you look here also there is other functions which is the material themes and it can be used to customize to 
switch your app now as you can see now if we go to code and we can see we have two parameters which have been passed here and this one is the boolean function which is going to check if the system is going to be in a dark or a light theme so that we can use different color palettes and also it is taking up a composable functions which we can use them in our main activity to call other composable functions so right now if we go here to the main activity so i'm going to call this here the jetpack compose project theme inside here now we can call the hello composable so now I'm going to show you a good way later in the video on how to set up this project theme and you can reuse it in different activities so that you cannot customize it every time you want to create a new activity. So right now here we have provided the theme and it can be used in our app. Now let's change a background color of the text and we are going to use here a surface and let's define here a surface. And now we are going to provide the color here. And for example, we can take here to blue. Now we can use this color blue in order to provide the background color. And we are going to copy this text and paste it inside here. So now we are going to change the background color of this text here. So the component nested inside the surface will be drawn on top of the background color. So in case here we are using a blue, so this will be drawn above the blue color. Now let's try here and rebuild our, our preview and see it here live. Now the project has rendered here the preview function. And as you can see, here we have the hello composable and the background is blue. Now, as you can see, our composable functions are not reusable. So let's tweak things around and make things easier to read and reuse them in another activity. As you have noticed here, we have been writing this composable function outside of the main activity so that we can reuse them in different activities. So now if we navigate here to the code and we are going to try to create a, a certain way which we can reuse this, this, this code in other activities. So let's create here at composable. And we are going to create a function called my app. And inside here, we have to use this, this function inside here. Now, it's still that not really useful because we are calling this hello composable and we don't want to call this one. So we have to provide here the, the, the function which we can use them to call inside here. And for this purpose, we have to pass the, the composable function. So we are going to create a higher order function here and this we are going to call the content and it's going to use the the composable its type is going to be composable and this composable is going to return units and composable are emitting ui and they are not returning anything so we are not returning anything but however they are emitting this ui in this case we have to return the unit function now if we copy this now here and call the content. And if we navigate here to set content, we can call my app. And inside this now we are using a trailing Lambda syntax here since this is the only, only, only argument inside this function. And inside now here we can call the composable functions. Now we can paste here inside our code and we can call the hello composable. But right now we are applying this to only this text here. We can make the background color different from this here by calling the, the this surface inside the 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 change d the change decomposable function. Now let's call this here. And we can paste inside here and and now So this hello composable is only used to provide a text. And now this one is can be reused in another activities. And if we call now hello composable inside this function is going to call all of this one. Now let's just try to here and rebuild our function and see how it's going to give us. 
Now we have customized our code in order to use it in different activities. But if you look here in the, in the default preview here, there is a problem. I think there is a bug in Android Studio. So let's try here and run it in our, app, in our phone and see it how it's going to be displayed. Now running it on the phone, we are getting here the, the blue background and the text which has been rendered above the surface. Now let's leave it here. If you found this video helpful, please provide a like and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. See you in the next video. Thank you.